<laughs> Alright, what's up everybody? Um <clears throat> it's not often I make two videos in one day. I mean that's 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 something I rarely do, but this time I think is a good occasion. So this video is this video is called Things I think the Eagles should do and some of the things I'm speculating that fans that fans want to see. So some of the things I expect the things I'd like to see. I'd like to see um a new college coach. I knew someone new and fresh from college that would bring a lot of energy and motivation um, and lots of knowledge, which is pro most likely um, someone like Chip Kelly or, Dan or David Shaw. <clears throat> um, that's one of the things. And I have a list of coaches I have in mind. And my list of coaches are um, Herm Edwards, um... Chip Kelly, David Shaw, and um, Rex Ryan. I would like to. I would have it Rob Ryan on that list, but we all know reality that the Cowboys would not give us would not give us the permission to um, have an interview with him or meet with him at all. They would not take that chance. So that's pretty much out the window. But um. So I, I like someone defensive minded, and I'm sure, I'm sure these most of the guys I mentioned are offensive minded, but except for Rex Ryan, but hey, um, you gotta start from somewhere. So, but and I, li I like never on offense being offensive minded, but as long as you just balance it out, as long as you balance it out. So now I like to see um, a qualified, certified defensive coordinator. Offensive coordinator that knows what he's doing, not passing the ball 24-7, still having the quarterback drop back 50 times a game. Which is crazy like they did that week one in that Browns game. Um before I before I can see what I what I like to see, but here's things I've been speculating. Eagles fans, get real. Get real. We all know in reality that, well. I, I can't I can't rule this out. I can't rule out that he's not going to do it. But I say it's less than likely that uh, that um John Gruden would um leave the broadcast and booth for Monday Night Football just to ha come back to the sidelines. And besides, it's a, it's a curse that um I read an article. It's a curse that um. You hire a coach, I want a Super Bowl for another team because no coach in NFL history has, has won a Super Bowl with one team, coached a team to a, to a Super Bowl and won it, and coached another team to a Super Bowl and won it. But, hey, so, but, um, I have a speculation that Eagles fans like to sit, that, that would like the Eagles to, um, turn the, have a, turn from a 4 3 defensive scheme to a, um, 4-3 defensive scheme to a 3-4 defensive scheme. Thing is, that is, you have to have a good nose tack, a good nose tackle, and I think for that, I'm not actually sure, but I think your linebackers have to be able to cover some other stuff like that. But that's, or that's just a white nine. But I'm not quite sure. But yeah, but um, so yeah, but um, Andy Reid, man, I don't even know where to start from what it is, but um. Pack your bags already. Get out of here, Jeffy Lurie. I know you're gonna make every excuse from the book to keep Andy Reid here. Cause once you do that, once you say something and you have to say you get, it's, and it's your word, your own words, you can't pretty much go back on oh, why they're gonna use it against you. You say, oh, I'm keeping Reid to the press, to the media. Then some a reporter's gonna ask, but then. Oh, but then you say eight and eight won't save Andy Reid's job. So, don't do it to yourself. Um, I like this team to get more physical. More physical. I, I mean, I'm a guy. I love speed, but but um, speed won't always get you anywhere. I mean, a great defense can it will easily beat a team. Full of speed demons. So I'll take a team full of a great hitters over over um great hitters and covers over over a set of um speed demons any day. So um, yeah. 
But um Andy V, hey. Everybody said, oh, Andy V might be Bill Cowher and might win a Super Bowl this year. I thought that I thought that was a possibility too. Could have happened. But y'all didn't know when it when it before the season started, but hey. It didn't happen. And Andy V, you know Bill Cowher is that it's not gonna end like that. It's not gonna end like that. Um I mean, it'd be nice if it did end like that. See, yeah, because you actually are a real good coach. Statistic statistically, yes. Currently, no. And I wouldn't be surprised to see Andy Reid get picked up by the Chargers as soon as he's fired. If he gets fired. If, if Je Jeffrey Dill don't make up no, no, no BS excuses. I mean... I think I like I think um I think this team can win it all. We have the team, we have the talent, but it's just not coming together. And King Dunlap, like EDP said, six nine what, what is he? Six eight six nine that big motherfucker couldn't even block a futon mattress, man. That nigga garbage, man. What the fuck is he gonna do? That big motherfucker couldn't block a futon mattress. Um, I don't even know why the I don't even know why the Eagles bought King Dunlap back on that on the signing for one year. I know it's one year, but I don't know why they did that in the first place. I wouldn't even sign King Dunlap for death, for 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 a death move for a death move. Be honest with you, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even have King Dunn with my basketball team, and that dude, and that man is like a size of a damn power forward and a center. How the hell are you blocking and you like this, <gasps> and the guy goes around you and, and just hits foes? Got this guy right in front of you, then he just goes right around you. Demetrius Bell, you know better than than, than uh, King Dunlap. You know better. Step, you like it's but can't big Demetrius Bell, Demetrius Bell like a step lower under King Dunlap, and they paying all that money, even though it's not guaranteed. He should get cut after the season, I believe. I mean, yeah. So um, we need. I think we need to draft some physical receivers. Michael Kendricks. You're gonna be a hell of a linebacker for years to come. You you got speed, athleticism. That's why I, li I like a linebacker. They got speed and athleticism. You and I saw some highlights. He was a good tackler. So yeah. Namdi. Namdi, you just settling on man. You're off the ball, man. To be honest with to be honest with, with y'all. I wouldn't care if, if we cut Namdi and, and, and the Cowboys picked him up right after we pit, we fired if we could cut him. I wouldn't mind it and I wouldn't care. But I'll give Namdi one more year. Try him out at um safety. To see how that goes. If I could set up now if I could back to what I would like to see. If, and here, here's just a dream right here. If I could set up my own personnel. My personnel would be Bill O'Brien, offense coordinator, Rex Ryan, head coach, Rob Ryan, defensive coordinator. Oh hell, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't. I wouldn't care how I'm always still here, offensive line coach. That'd be a dream personnel right there. The main problem is we got. We got Howie Roseman as GM doing all these moves. We all know Howie Roseman, young, one of the youngest GMs in the league. But uh, this man just like to spend, 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 spend money, spend money on on free agents. We all know free agents won't won't get you over the hump to win the Super Bowl. But when you have homegrown talent that can that can come to, that can come together at the right time, then hey, you you, you got it. But it's not gonna ha not gonna happen that way. Uh, Andy Reid, you made lots of dumb mistakes. I mean, having around, I, 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 I don't know all the mistakes you made your whole tenure here with Philadelphia, but Andy Reid, I'm still pissed you picked pick some pick Brandon Brandon Graham over Earl Thomas. 
Man, you picked him over Juan Pierre. I mean, Jason Pierre Paul. Um. Yeah. I mean, it's a damn shame. I think that year, they had one of them drafts. They had a cornerback named Jimmy. I think his name was Jimmy Smith or something like that. Guy had attitude problems. And he was we was looking for a cornerback. So I thought, well, I said, well, let's get Jimmy Smith, and we got somebody else. I think we got somebody. I think we got um, yeah, we got Danny Watkins. Jimmy Smith went to the um Ravens. I think that's what I think that's his name. But um, I'm still pissed at Andy Reid that he. I'm still pissed at Andy Reid that he got. He picked Danny Watkins over Gabe Karimia. He picked a firefighter. Oh wow, good. We got a firefighter. Let's, now whatever energy have on, oh, let's put let's put the fire with Danny Watkins. And how how is that firefighter been turning out for us? Not good. Oh no, Andy Reid, you gotta go. Thanks for the years, man. Oh yeah, now here's another here's the name I missed from my head coach list. My list is Herm Edwards, Chip Kelly, David Shaw, and Bill O'Brien. The guy, the, the old the old Patriots offensive coordinator that now coaches at Penn State. I think he'd be a good coach. Even though he's off from his mind, but he seems like a guy knows what he's doing. But on all, that's it. Peace out.